What is up guys, Jake here with our first uh, war recap video uh, in Rival Kingdom. So this is exciting. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. As you can see here, I am now going up to, what is this, uh, Stronghold 5. So that's pretty cool. Got a uh, level up on my barracks and my armor smith, or blacksmith, and level up on a few of those sentinels or whatever they're called, uh, archers. Uh, let's see, you got another wizard tower, you got this new defense, that air uh, defense there, and a couple other new things, and another smelter. So, you know, like we normally do, we will be doing the uh, economy stuff first. We'll build that smelter, get it going. Uh, let's see, what else we got? We got a little bit of bonus there. Let's go ahead and get to the war, because it's not done yet, but I... I want to go ahead and show it because I don't know how these are going to work. If if uh, you'll see, we got 21 minutes left there. If the replays are gone, if if I'm going to get to see extra replays, I don't know yet. But I want to let you guys know what happened in the first war. Before we get to that, I know that this kingdom filled up in like two seconds. Uh, but right here is what you know. We're working on this. You see that the uh, we'll get to 30 members eventually. Uh, we're donating to that as quickly as we can, and I think it caps out at 50. So we are going to have much more, you know, double the room we have now for new members. And along with that, uh, we're probably definitely going to have at least one more kingdom. So hang in there. I know you guys are disappointed that didn't get in right away, uh, but keep checking back. Uh, there'll be openings. There'll be turnover. There'll be chances for you guys to play with us. I want to play with you guys. Uh, we're not trying to, uh, to snob anybody. We want to play with everybody. So hang in there. I promise it'll get better. Uh, right here, let's go to the war. You see, we are waxing uh, La Hermandad. Uh, again, I know I told you a little bit about it last video, but the way the war works, you get to attack each base. So you just start off, you know, you start here at the first base, and they pick, I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, is it? Ten, yeah, 10 bases. That I mean, I guess it's random because there's more uh, people attacking than 10 people. Uh, you see, they had many more members than us. That's one cool thing about this game is that even with more members, uh, we can still match them. I think it's just a matter of the top, you know, only the same number of, of attackers count. Uh, so I guess it's a little bit of an advantage having more members because uh, you get more chance to have good attacks. But anyways, I, I'm not sure on all that yet. But you do start at the, at the first base here. Once you defeat it, you move on. You'll see the... Uh, we do have someone that, you know, Geo's not attacked yet. Hopefully he gets his attacks in. I don't know what this green means on this guy. Maybe you guys can tell me because I don't know what that means, why his little name tag is green. But you see right here, look on uh, Captain, Co uh, I guess he says, pronounced coin. Uh, you see that sort of gray one symbol next to the black one there. The black means someone, that's just where they're at. The gray means they're out of morale. They've lost their five attacks. Uh, they're, they're, they can't attack anymore. That's where they ended up at. So you'll see a few of our guys got stuck there, but the majority have gotten much further, uh, all the way to the Sentinel here on, on some of them. Uh, that means that, that you know they get a bonus on defense. And then a big group of us right here, look at all the guys that got uh, all the way through, killed the king, so that was awesome. Um, on, our, on the other side, they have a lot of guys that haven't attacked yet. They got seven that's not even started. Uh, some with leftover attacks, and just a few of them uh, have gotten here and, and ran out of attacks, and none of them have made it to me. Milanese has basically set a wall up in front of me, and nobody has been able to get through it. So what I'm going to do on this one, again, I don't know how this is going to work uh, in the future, but we'll figure something out. I'm going to show you the last three bases and just the replay that it shows us. I don't think I have any control over which replay it selects. It's just random which one it likes. I don't know, but we're going to watch them. Uh, you see, oh my goodness, look at there. There's Jake from One Kingdom taking on Jon Snow. Maybe it's like a it, every time it's different. Because I think when I watched this earlier, it was not me. So maybe it's just random attacks. Uh, that's cool. So maybe when you're about to attack a base, watch it a few times uh, before you do it. I just went ahead and dropped the drop my dragon down here just to get that extra uh, mana from that that spot there. And then once it got uh, taken, this extra building, I'll fast forward just a little bit here. I flew it to the other side. You'll see right here, boom. I just sent it straight over, uh, froze a few of those buildings, and then sent in troops from the left side here to get in and start taking out these defenses. Uh, I had my soldiers down in front, my wardens behind, uh, 
you know, Dragon's doing a little bit of work there. And then once right there is about to go down, I just go ahead and use his ability again, uh, freeze all those defenses, sort of stop them from doing some damage just for a moment. It's not a long freeze, but it does make a difference. Uh, right here, the Wardens lock onto the Stronghold, which again is all that matters. Uh, they are going to, they're pretty much out of range, those top ones at least. Uh, so they're going to be able to sit there and just pick off the Stronghold. We'll fast forward as they're doing that. And then right there, boom, Stronghold's down. That's a victory. That's all that matters. Uh, after that, just my wardens get taken out, and it does not get, you know, 100% or whatever you want to call it, but it was still a victory. So awesome job by me taking that one out. I uh, hope you guys like that. So let's move on. Let's watch the next one here. Uh, their second guy, uh, base nine. Uh, let's see who they show us who takes this one out. It's kind of cool that it's random, I guess. Uh, I'd like, ooh, Milanese. I'd like to be able to show you guys a uh, you know the ones that I like the most, but maybe this will be good. It'll be a good variety, different attacks and stuff. Uh, he just comes in with his dragon and then just swarms here. He's got those uh, what are they called? Been saying play this game. I have to call it. I don't have the troops yet. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. The next upgrade. He's got some of those and they just do work. Uh, they go through. Good job doing the freeze there. You see, he's starting to use his ability and right there, boom. The stronghold goes down quickly. Milanese just absolutely destroys us. He's a uh, stronghold nine, one of our, our, our by far our most powerful uh, attacker. So he absolutely just wrecked that base. Not much of a challenge. All right, let's look at the king now. Uh, we'll see who they select to show us on that one. Uh, do you replay? All right, come on now. He had a, not a good base, you know, not at all really. Uh, and this is going to be Milanese again, so he is absolutely going to destroy it. Uh, just dropping the dragon over here on that uh, troop portal to get some extra mana. And then just sending his troops straight in, basically. I mean, just, you know, going to come in and just wreck this thing. Boom, comes across with the dragon, gets a freeze. Stronghold's already down. It's already a victory. Uh, he just keeps sending his troops in. I'm not sure which, uh, which ancient he's using, what these sparkly things on them are. I'll have to ask him about that because I'm not sure. I'm sure you guys probably know. Uh, I haven't. I haven't played with that ancient, whichever one it is, so I'll have to check that out because whatever that's doing, it's working, and he is just rolling through bases. So good job, Milanese. Uh, good job, everybody at One Kingdom, just absolutely dominating our first war. So that's exciting. Um, I'll show you what everybody did here. Uh, you see the their names, and the 375 means they went all the way through on this one. Uh, so good job to all those guys. Uh, most of the people that, that weren't in One Hive were not in the first raid. We want to get our feet wet, our first war, see what was going on with that. So uh, no big deal there. Uh, let see the rank. Where's that other button? I, do this. I, I don't know if this means that it's going to upgrade us directly to the next uh, league, the Sword League, uh, when we win this or not. We'll see. Again, this is our first one, so I don't know exactly how it's going to work. But hope you guys liked the video. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.